All right, we are three minutes to midnight. You have your grapes as there's something bubbly. Let's take a look at some of the superstitions as we count down to 2024. Counting down to the new year and beyond the bubbles and sparkly hats, many will be busy manifesting the best for 2024. 12 grapes, doce uvas, one for each month of the year for good luck. Lentils bring prosperity, as do black-eyed peas and collard greens. And don't eat lobster by the way they walk backwards. Pig plows forward, so maybe consider pork for the menu. Plans to get away in 2024? Put that plan in motion now. Have some luggage ready to take a stroll and bring travel in the new year. Just walk around the block if you want. Throw a bucket of water out the front door to toss out all the negativity and start fresh. Uh, wear yellow undergarments for luck and prosperity and red ones for love in the new year. And the first step you take at midnight should be with your right foot. Pop some sparkling cider or champagne at midnight. And then there's that kiss at midnight. Your partner, your loved ones, even your pets. So do you have your loved ones ready? Do you have your wishes ready, your hopes for the new year? We are just a minute and a half away from 2024 uh, again. But this is a moment to sit with your loved ones and reflect on the year that was the lessons learned, the adventures had and so much more. And speaking of, I'm getting emotional. My family's here, our family's here. Sarah's mom, my mom, my boys as well. So yeah, you wanna make sure that you hug your loved ones tight as we are now counting down one minute to go. On the left of your screen, that's Times Square. Again, 41 degrees in New York and thousands and thousands of people have packed Times Square to count down. You see that on the left and on your right. And of course, here across our community from Fort Lauderdale uh, to Bayfront Park, we have been counting down as well um, and watching uh, the moment where we will usher in a new year. And there you see Mr. Neon, the orange, the big orange, rising to the top of the Intercontinental. Uh, again, a big year as the orange is back. Uh, because of COVID, they had to put Mr. Neon away and there were other issues that kept it away. Uh, but this was a big, a big deal. This is a tradition, been a tradition in South Florida for so many years. Uh, and there you go. We're counting down 38 seconds. And once Mr. Neon, the big orange, rises to the top of the Intercontinental Hotel, we will usher in the new year. And here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. There you go. <laughs> Let the fireworks go. Happy New Year! Happy New Year, South Florida. Um, again, hope that you're with the people that you love and that you're hugging them as I will do right now. Happy New Year, Alice. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year, baby. I love you. Happy New Year. Ryan, come here. <laughs> Where's Ryan? And we just want to sit with this. We want you to enjoy it. Happy New Year, baby. Happy New Year. Oh. <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> so we're going to sit on this. We're going to sit on this with you and your loved ones. Go ahead and watch uh, the fireworks over Bayfront Park. And we know that the anchor has dropped in Fort Lauderdale. So take a moment. Be grateful for the, all that you have and what we don't have as well. And watch the fireworks here over Bayfront Park. We'll listen in now. Bayfront Park was anticipating about 15,000 people to pack downtown Miami to watch this moment, to take in the fireworks over downtown Miami, to watch Mr. Knee on the Big Orange rise to the top of the Intercontinental Hotel. It is a great tradition here in our community, one that resumed this year after Mr. Neon was off on the sidelines, if you will, for three years. And there you see the beautiful display here put by the city of Miami. Miriam Tapia is there in the crowd. We're going to check in with her in just a bit. Let's go ahead and check in on uh, one area that the world always watches, Times Square. Of course, the Times Square ball dropped to those famed 2024 numbers, which were on display there in Times Square uh, for, for several weeks here. People were snap, stopping by and snapping pictures. And, of course, the confetti that is released into the air are the wishes. So many people write down those wishes, and that is the confetti that is released into the air. Um, again, about 41 degrees and the slight drizzle there. 
in Times Square, New York City, uh, which is really uh, the center, the focal point for so many people here in our country, right? So pretty beautiful. What about Fort Lauderdale, guys? Can we go ahead and check in on Fort Lauderdale, see how our neighbors there in downtown Fort Lauderdale uh, have welcomed in the new year? How about the Broadwalk, huh? Ryan was showing us uh, how everybody was taking a stroll. Look, it's kind of tough to tell, but look, plenty of people out there on the Broadwalk. You see uh, the lights, you see the fireworks as well. We know that local law enforcement, of course, reminding everybody, leave the fireworks up to the professionals. There's so many accidents, unfortunately, we talk about every single year. Kids should not be handling sparklers. You wanna make sure that you are doing so safely. So we saw those fireworks, just quick safety reminder there as we uh, now are 12.03. January 1st, 2024, but yeah, the broad walk is packed. And of course it's 56 degrees. Uh, it is a beautiful time to be out and about ringing in the new year. Let's take you back to Miami. Look at those beautiful fireworks they're put on uh, now that we have rung in the new year. Again, Bayfront Park and quite the party. Willy Chirino, Jacob El Immortal is immortal because he's back. <laughs> so there you go. He's going to be performing on stage. Uh, and again, what a way to ring in the new year. Let's go ahead and take a minute here. All right, again, these are some uh, live look at the fireworks here over Bay from Park. I'm watching um, my family and our loved ones and my colleagues as well have eating those 12 grapes, right? The super, so many superstitions that uh, so many of us take on, on, on at the stroke of midnight. The 12 grapes, it's a great tradition here uh, in South Florida. One grape for each month wishes for health and love in the new year. So again, whatever it is that you're doing, whatever manifestations you have that you're putting into action for the new year, may it be one full of health and joy, safety, and love with those who you love as well. As we're watching downtown Miami, I gotta give a shout out to the Conk Republic down in the Keys because they ring in the new year. The only way that the Keys does, uh, the shoe drops with one of the most exquisite drag queens down there in the Keys. Uh, so we'll definitely have those videos. We're going to be sharing those with you once we get them. And again, in Fort Lauderdale, the anchor drops in Fort Lauderdale as it did. Joanna Torres down there with uh, quite the crowd. People that have been there gathering since earlier today. Downtown Miami, people have been lining up there to get a good spot there uh, since very early today as we checked in with Miriam Tapia earlier today. It is 12.05, the 1st of January, 56 degrees, and it is a privilege to have earned, uh, to have welcomed in the new year with all of you at home. So we are grateful for that privilege. We're going to take a quick break and uh, we'll be back in just a couple minutes. Happy New Year. nine minutes <laughs> into 2024 but as we entered 2024 just a few minutes ago the new year arrived early for millions in other parts of the world so take you there new zealanders and australians among the first in the world to welcome the new year a fireworks show over at the city's sky tower helped those in Auckland, New Zealand celebrate. The display featured over 1,100 pounds of fireworks, was accompanied by a laser light and animation show. In Australia, the Sydney Harbour Bridge, as always, was a focal point of the fireworks display. Pretty beautiful, right? Let's go ahead and check out the stunning fireworks display over Victoria Harbour in Hong Kong. A 12 minute firework performance here was Hong Kong's largest New Year's Eve fireworks display ever take that in look at that pretty spectacular right and they counted down the new year in style over in taiwan fireworks on stage there as well coming from a tower as well the dazzling display as you see there did not disappoint as always all right this is probably one of my favorites uh, especially in 2024 paris <laughs> Think short of bright in Paris either, right? The city of love, the city of light celebrating the new year with a huge display of their own. And of course, 2024 is a really big year for Paris, the Olympics. 
The Olympics are heading to Paris, taking over. It's going to be spectacular. All of that action only here on NBC6. All right, we have you covered for New Year's Eve here in our neck of the woods. Of course, this is Times Square. You still see all those people. They're starting to kind of gather out and warm up because it's about 40 degrees over there. But we want to get back to Bayfront Park. Miriam Tapia has been uh, live with us, joining us from where the big orange Miriam just rose to the top, ascended to the top of the Intercontinental. And we see the fireworks going off behind you. How exciting was it, Miriam? Tell us about counting down to 2024. Roxy, let me tell you, fireworks are still happening and we're like 12 minutes in into the new year. I love Miami. Now, let me tell you, you were doing your speech. You were hugging your family and made me very emotional. Everyone here was hugging their families. My families are actually, my family's actually inside the Intercontinental Hotel and seeing everyone hug each other, kiss each other, say happy new year. It's what the city needed, needed so much, so desperately in the last three years. It's honestly a celebration and it's incredibly, truly an honor to be here with you guys. Happy New Year, Roxy. I'm giving you the biggest hug, Sarah, everyone in the control room, Amanda, my photographer, everyone, everybody is clapping because the fireworks are almost done. But it's truly, it's an, a team effort and we honestly thank you, the viewers who are watching home. It's, it's truly incredible and I, I love, I love my job, honestly, I really do. And to a great 2024, it's going to be amazing. Roxy, back to you. Miriam, I love it. Feeling all the love. Feeling all the love. We're showing the fireworks going off behind you. Uh, Happy New Year, my friend. Happy New Year. Again, it's Bayfront Park, Mr. Neon, back Intercontinental Hotel. Uh, literally lit down there in downtown Miami as we see the fireworks. It looks like, Miriam, they have that final finale of the fireworks. We hear that nonstop popping. Very cool. 12 minutes. Oh, there you go. Yeah, Amanda. Amanda, our awesome photojournalist there, giving us that pan there of the fireworks. Let's take that in. There you go. Oh, that is stunning. City of Miami. You know how to do it down here in the 305, right? All right, we have much more coming your way on this special edition of the NBC6 News with my little blessings here. Uh, we are going to wrap up our coverage with more family fun. It is... 13 minutes into the new year. Happy New Year, guys. Happy new year, you have no idea. They're up past their bedtime. We'll be right back. Stay with us. <laughs>